Hello there, welcome to AWS Tech Guide session today. Today, I will show you how to transfer a domain from one service provider to Amazon Web Service. Yes, in today's tutorial, I will show you how I will be transferring one domain from GoDaddy to AWS Management Console. So in our AWS Management Console, we have the service for this domain registration called root 53. So let me go to their search in the search box and click on root 53. And inside that on the left hand side, you will find under domain registered domain, click on registered domain. And on the top menus, you will find transfer domain, click on the transfer domain. Here it says transfer domain to root 53 you can transfer registration for one or more domains from another register to root 53 before you continue do the following so in short that before transferring the domain you should have that transfer domain lock in unlock status in your current domain register so let me take you to the godaddy portal where my domain is currently registered it is the GoDaddy portal where you can see I have this domain blandandmarket.com. It is registered here. I want to transfer this domain to my AWS account. Now if you scroll down in domain settings page for that particular domain means in this case I am transferring brandandmarket.com. So I am at my domain setting page in godaddy.com. You will find under additional settings there is one option which says locking prevents unauthorized changes including transfer to another register since we are going to transfer this domain to aws that's why you must have this domain lock off generally you will find that domain lock is on so it is to protect the unauthorized changes and transfer to another register but before you transfer to your another register, you have to make sure that your domain lock is off. Now let's go back to root 53 and here we have to add the domain name. Add the domain name you want to transfer. As it's saying, brandandmarket.com can be transferred to root 53 for $12. That's fine. To transfer the domain to root 53, please ensure the following. Disable domain privacy for the domain so we can get your contact information now let's click on add to cart it has added in the cart click on continue it is asking for authorization code now before getting the authorization code which i will get from godaddy i have to do few things so let's go to godaddy in godaddy's domain setting page we have to set our privacy off because i have already the privacy setting is on for this particular domain once you want to transfer this domain to another register you have to but once you want to transfer out this domain you have to turn the privacy off so i'm clicking turn privacy off here it is showing that one domain have ownership protection you have to verify your identity before you can turn off privacy protection that's fine Click on I agree to expose my contact information. Click on continue. Now on additional settings. Click on remove protection. It is showing one domain have ownership protection and are protected. You need to verify your identity before you can downgrade the protection. So I am okay with that. Click on yes. Click continue. It's saying we have removed ownership protection from your domain. Now after refresh you see that you get one more option that is transfer domain away from godaddy i'm clicking on it now on this transfer page it is showing make sure your administrative contact email is current it's where we send your transfer authorization code verify that the new register will set up your dns zone files if you don't do this your website and email could go down so i am just clicking on continue with transfer now on this last page you get domain transfer checklist here domain is unlocked and ready to transfer 
click here to see the authorization code. Now I'll click on this authorization code link and we'll copy the authorization code and we'll go to AWS console, we'll paste the authorization code and move. I'm here pasting the authorization code and keeping this option as it is, name, ser name server options. Continue to use the name servers provided by the current register or DNS service. So after pasting this authorization code, I will click on continue to the next page. Now after verifying the contact details, I am just completing the order. Now it is showing order submitted successfully. Your order is being processed. It may take a little while for your payment to be debited. It's okay. Now close this. It's showing this particular domain transfer is in process. Now it is few minutes after we initiated the transfer and you can see in AWS console it is showing the domain transfer in progress waiting for current register to approve the transfer. This may take up to 10 days depending on the TLD and the current register step 7 of 14. Let's go to GoDaddy and see what is the status. Now on GoDaddy page if you see that the domain is showing pending transfer out, transfer is in progress. Now go to domains menu and check on the transfers. Click on transfer outs, all transfers out. Click on this domain because this is the one we want to transfer out and click on accept transfer. It's showing transfer out successful. I'm just refreshing the page. It has gone now. Now let's go back to our AWS portal and it will take effect in few minutes. Now after this, you don't have any action to do. Just wait and AWS will automatically complete the transfer in of this new domain and after transfer, you will automatically get this domain under registered domain option. Thank you for watching this video. If you have any query, please write in the comment box below. I'll be happy to help you and do not forget to subscribe this channel and click on the bell icon to get the notification of my upcoming tutorial videos. Also check the link in the description box below for our upcoming online training session on AWS DevOps application migration. Thank you. See you in our next session.